This is Jason Bischoff, of course, with the No Name Morning Show with Hook FM, artist on the hook today, and hanging out with my good friend Mike Weave from Big Daddy Weave. Mike, how you doing today? It's good to see you again, man. Glad to have you. I didn't have a shopping cart today. I'm sorry. This is the reunion, though, dude. See, we can just we can remember the shopping cart. We don't have to have a shopping cart every time, right? That is correct. I mean, that's why a shopping cart in the interview is special, because that don't happen all the time. Very true, very true. That's it, that's it. There you go. Well, today you guys are out in Valdosta, Georgia. You guys teamed up uh, for the uh, great time with Mike's Share on a Christmas tour. How's this tour been going so far? Man, it's been so cool because, I mean, you only do this kind of once a year. It's a limited amount of time when you're really kind of doing the, the Yuletide thing. And, man, it's, it's really cool because I think for us, it's always a great reminder that it's not about the lights and it's not about the, you know, all that other business that we make at the shopping mall, these things. That it really is about Jesus, man. And that's, that's this season, man. This is the season that we remember it. But um, when we made our record a couple years ago that was a Christmas record, we made it in the summer. And I think that helped me more than anything kind of take it out of one time a year, you know. This message is so foundational about who we are because Jesus came to us, you know. And uh, you're doing that, of course, with Mike's chair on tour with these guys. You've been on tour before. Is this your first Christmas tour with them, though? Absolutely, you know, and but we love those guys. And that's why that's why you tour again with somebody. Otherwise, otherwise it's gonna like one time only. It's gonna like, well, God bless y'all or whatever, you know. But when you see artists get back together, you know it's because there there is really a rapport there. And there's we really um, there's there's so much in common. I feel like what God wants to say with them and wants to say with us, and and it's just an, it's an easy easy hang, you know. Definitely looking forward to that. And how uh, have the tour been so far? What can folks expect when they come to a tour, a Christmas tour with you guys? Man, well, first of all, a little bit of Christmas music. You know, that's kind of that's kind of what makes it the Christmas part of it. Oh, man, really, our goal every single night is just that people would see Jesus. Man. That's it, because he's the one who changes everything. People could come see Big Daddy Weave, leave the exact same way. They could forget who we are, won't matter to their life, man. But they come and have an encounter with Jesus, then that's, that's the thing. That's the gift that keeps on giving for, forever, you know? Yes, it does. And uh, speaking of giving forever, you've got a song out, brand new on the charts. I mean, it's been hitting the charts hard and been there number one for several weeks now, Redeemed. Uh, talk a little about this song. It almost didn't even make the album, didn't it? You know, it's, it's, it's crazy to think that it didn't because of now that, we, now that we've seen what God's done with it. But yeah, man, um, Redeemed is a song that we wrote out of a place of brokenness, you know. We love to have a good time. That's why we're talking about shopping carts and all kinds of silly things, you know. But at the same time, I feel like the places that God has brought stuff out of our brokenness are the things that resonate the most with people, man. And so for me, I've always dealt with this kind of self-hatred thing, this this not feeling like I'm enough, you know, feeling like a failure kind of thing. I've dealt with that for the majority of my life, man. I never doubted the love of God. I mean, I've always believed in the love of Jesus, but I never let that affect the way I saw myself, if that makes sense, man. And Redeemed came from that place of just really receiving from God, hey, you know what, this is what what I think about you. You're mine, not because of, you know, your track record or your ability to do something for me. You're mine because of the blood of Jesus, you know. That's resonated with so many people. I mean, it's been the coolest thing, man, to see how God has taken this song. And literally, lines of people every night at the end of the show, have every single one of them have some kind of story about how God has used that in their life, man. Only Jesus can take the stuff you hate about yourself and make it a victory, man. So, and you talk about that a little bit, it, it, it kind of, uh, as an artist, I know you guys travel all around the world, I know you told me earlier you were in Texas just yesterday, here in Georgia now, what is it like for you to be on the road like that all the time and hear all the people's hearts, to hear that things are struggling because you know the way the economy is, things are going on, people are having hard times right now, what's it like for you as an artist to hear that day in and day out and, and what does it do as you to uh, change what you do or, or how does it affect you? Absolutely. Well, I mean, a couple of years ago, and even the last time we were together, I mean, God had really birthed the time at the end of our shows where we just kind of shut everything down and just get a chance to pray for people. And like you were saying, when you're hearing the stuff people are going through, first of all, for me, that's one of the greatest honors ever, that somebody would share something maybe they've never shared with somebody before, that they'd feel safe enough in the environment that God has created in that night, you know, to share something like that. But at the same time, after a while, um, we sort of began to deal with a bit of a fatigue that we were not 
really ready for because we're just hearing about how much hurt there is. And we really are having to press into God in a new way to just stay encouraged and just really to, to realize that what we are facing here while we're on this planet is war. The battle says, you know, the Bible says we you know, wrestle not against flesh and blood. You know, we don't wrestle against people and circumstances. We wrestle against principalities, you know, and think of spiritual forces, man. And it talks about the armor of God. And we're just having to learn how to kind of gird up in that in a, in a way like we never have, man, and really trust that the Holy Spirit will keep replenishing, you know, us in the middle of that battle. Is there times, that you've been, I mean, you talked a little earlier, maybe in Texas, and you just go all the way over there. Is there times God gives you a recharge? And what is it like when God just hits you and says, you know what, this is what you're doing, this is what you're here for, and I want to give you a recharge. But does he ever do that for you? You know what is a recharge for me, man, is seeing people who are just passionately serving Jesus. When I see that and it resonates with me in that way, I just feel encouraged all over again to like, hey, let's let's get out there and just keep doing this, you know? And so I feel like Texas was that for me. I mean, we, we were with some great friends out there and we really just... Um, to see their hearts for God, to hear the passion for the Lord that they have, and then to to see how that you know fits into what we do, and it's just a, a great encouragement to me and refreshment.